Hey guys, Tony here. Good morning. Unfortunately, lossless did actually end up uh, breaking to the low side when I when I bought back in. So I actually bought back in somewhere around here because <coughs> I thought it was actually gonna break. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm drinking my morning shake and it went the wrong way. Um, I actually thought it was gonna break up here like this, right? It was gonna go from here and it was gonna run this way. Um, it ended up not breaking this and it kept going down to the low side and it did come back down to 135 wick a little bit under and it's staying here um <clears throat> what i'm thinking right now is if you do not start uh retracing from this level if you do not start going up from here or breaking you know this channel this bullish this bullish channel this bullish trend that up here if this doesn't break you know we can we can keep going down you know next level is going to be 89 cents right so if we go if we do not you know from here if we actually come back and retest this level of like 175 180 ish whatever this level or this resistance if we go if we come up here this does not break i'm like i'm almost sure that positive that we're going to drop to around 90 cents or so again i'm not really selling anything i like lss as a very long term as long term exposure right i do like lss a lot i think their use case is fantastic they already have proven tech but it does look like they might keep running down to the low side the daily still looks, com sorry, the daily still looks completely uh, bearish right now. So there's no reason for me to be bullish on LSS right now. I mean, if it, I'm just waiting for the four hour to close another bull trigger uh, because the hour is not really doing anything, right? Like you have a, uh, an hour bull close right here. Yes, you did run, you did run up, you, look, you did run up from a dollar and 35, but you know, keep in mind, you know, you're already, you're already seeing weak signs of bull momentum on the reverse MACD. And you already have the stoke wanting to cross over, you know, that blue line cross over the red one and the red one come, uh, you know, be ahead of it. Right. So it looks like it is creating tops right here and you might see another dump to the low side on LSS. But I'm waiting for the four hour. Uh, see, there you go. See red bubble right there. So after this red bubble gets created and if we do close in two hours like this, you know, I can definitely see LSS running back up here, retesting this trend. Um, but if, if, if right now, you know, if it goes up and retest and it doesn't break this right now, I can 100% 100 see it's going back down to around 89 cents. Again, uh, you know, I am still long term very bullish on LSS. You know, I don't really, you know, I don't really care what happens short term because I'm still holding. But if it does not break this trend, you know, it's going down to like 89 cents or so. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.